Welcome to the Blind Justice Podcast, where you discover the insider secrets of injury and accident cases, and all of your law questions get answered. Now, here's your host, Chicago injury lawyer, Scott DeSalvo. Hey guys, Chicago auto accident lawyer Scott DeSalvo here with Amelia Finnefrock, the great. With Scott DeSalvo, the greatest. With Amelia Finnefrock, <laughs> even the more greater her. I wish you could see Scott's face right now. I'm trying. It's hilarious. I'm having problems with a bigger superlative. You know what? Let me stop you right there. I think we're both pretty great. I think we're both superlatives. <sighs> yes. Say that five times yes. fast. So, folks, you know what we do on this podcast. We talk about injury law. I'm a Chicago yeah. injury lawyer. Amelia has learned so much about injury law over the course of this stuff. I I I feel like you kind of have. Am a lawyer? I'm not. You're like Danny DeVito in (laughs) The Rainmaker. You're a para lawyer. If you guys have never seen The Rainmaker, you should. It's hysterical. Matt Damon plays like a kid just out of law school, and he goes to work for this guy Bruiser Stone, who's like a uh, sort of shady character injury lawyer. He's Danny DeVito. Yeah, and Danny DeVito is um, um, no. Who is it? The guy who played the wrestler, and he played Marv in Sin City. Ooh, Mickey Rourke. Yes. Yeah, Mickey Rourke plays the mobbed up sure. sort of scummy guy, but Danny yeah. DeVito plays like a guy who who went to law school but has taken the bar like eight times <laughs> and can't pass it. But he basically unethically operates as a lawyer. He calls oh, himself no. a para lawyer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, on second thought, sunny? yeah, on second thought, we should not call you a paralegal because or a para lawyer because we don't want you, you to be trouble. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't worry, me. folks. I'll just I'll take it. I'll take the compliment though, because I, I Danny DeVito is every every everything I want to be when I grow up. Hmm. You have an odd <laughs> set of goals. <laughs> Um, Amelia Fennerfock is a young, talented singer, and she wants to be Danny DeVito when she grows he up. He just says the darndest thing. He's funny. He's so funny. He is funny. Do you watch It's Always Sunny? Um, yeah. Yeah. He's funny. You all caught up? No. Okay. I, I'm, I have friends who watch it. I don't love the show. I like it. And but get I just out. get out I've right just now. Never, oh my god! Leave your own podcast. <laughs> and this is the part of the show where <laughs> Amelia tries to kill Scott because he has different aesthetic preferences in TV shows. Part seven. Um. Yeah. So we we answer injury case questions, and that's what we're doing here today. And today is, I think, a car crash. Quite. Yeah. It yes, looks it like is. it's a rear ender at a stoplight car crash question. So Amelia. Take it away. In my best Danny DeVito impression. I will read this entire script. Or you could just read it as you. <laughs> I will do the latter. I will. You guys will just have to wonder, wonder what it's going to sound like. I have a question for the Chicago auto accident lawyers. I was driving home for my daughter's birthday party. I stopped at the red traffic light, and a few seconds later, a truck hit me from behind. It pushed me halfway through the intersection, and my daughter was screaming and crying. I took her to the hospital and to her pediatrician, and she is okay now. But my neck has been bothering me ever since. I never had neck problems before this crash. My family doctor just gives me pain pills, but they upset my stomach and make me drowsy when I am at work. The insurance company says that there is a conflict of interest, and I cannot do a case because my daughter was in the car. Is that true? Yeah, so... Rule number one, Uh, don't listen to what insurance adjusters tell you. So that makes no sense. They hire these insurance adjusters who are not lawyers and are not doctors. And they proceed to attempt to tell the lawyer or the layperson if if the injured person didn't get a lawyer. These these insurance adjusters attempt to act like attorneys and act like doctors. So this person has no idea what he or she is saying. There isn't a conflict of interest. Um, but the thing is you can't let what these idiots tell you discourage you from at least talking to an injury lawyer and getting a free consultation Mm -hmm. in your situation. There's probably not a conflict of interest because you didn't do anything wrong. You were stopped at a stoplight at a red stop light and you got hit from the rear. So there's no reasonable argument that anyone could make that you did anything wrong unless they make up a story like it was at night and her and her lights weren't on 
or um, I don't know, she was in front of my truck and she just locked up the brakes for no reason. Right. I mean, I suppose that's in theory possible, but um, there are some situations where a driver and a passenger in the same car might have a conflict, right? right. So like if it's the other guy says, you ran the light, you say the other guy ran yeah. the light, your passenger might need to get their own lawyer. But in a situation like this, it, you probably don't need to. And even if you need no. to get a separate lawyer for you and your child, that's no reason to abandon the claim and not pursue it. Like, exactly. that's crazy. No, that doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah. So, you know, it goes back to what we've talked about before. Insurance companies are a business. They're about collecting premiums mm -hmm. and then doing everything in their power to get people not to make a claim. They want right. to cheat injured people. That's that's their shtick. Yeah, if they didn't want to cheat injured people, I'd be out of business, honestly. If they <laughs> that's really true. Yeah, like I they do it. not they do not pay people fair amounts on these cases oh. and their preference is to lie yeah. or misrepresent and pay nothing. Yeah, right? Totally. And that goes back to the adjuster as, you know, fake attorney slash fake doctor. Because they'll also do things like, oh well, um we're only considering half of this bill because the treatment was excessive. Well, wait a minute. My doctor prescribed the treatment. Where did you go to medical school? <laughs> right? But they just right. deny it because they know it's a BS excuse yeah. and they can pay less money. To totally. So it is it's rotten. It's not a character. Yeah. I mean, insurance companies make profits when they cheat injured people. And that's, that's just how they make their money profits. Speaks. Now, as far as um, the medical end of this, I would say it might be time for a second opinion. Mm -hmm. um, many doctors or family doctors are overworked or they're just not very, you know, they're busy and they, they're not that compassionate and they're not really listening closely to no. what their patient is, is telling them. So they're happy to just say, uh, yeah, come back in 60 days. Here's a script for pain pills. Right. That, you know, pain pills are very helpful tools to alleviate pain but if you're not finding out what the underlying problem is pain pills are just going to ruin your stomach yeah, right i'm a big believer in seeing a specialist because you know again i'm sure your family doctor's really nice but again like you said they're probably overworked yeah getting to a specialist is the move like i yeah. would say maybe talk to your family doctor about a referral to an orthopedist or if you have health insurance just call your health insurance and see if you can go see an orthopedic yeah, directly are yeah, I mean, get a second opinion, and hopefully that second opinion is an is a orthopedic doctor or a neurosurgeon, because if we're dealing with neck pain that you never had before and a pretty serious rear ender, I mean, that is a classic mechanism of injury uh, for a neck injury, uh, yes. like a rear ender like that yeah. at a stop. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe see a specialist, an orthopedic or a neurosurgeon, and have them get an MRI. Even if the MRI is negative, at least you'll know you got a clean bill of health and right. everything's going to be okay. And God forbid, if it's not, at least you can start addressing the real problem instead of just going to your family doctor every month or two and no. getting pain pills, right? No. That's, that's a band aid. Yeah. You're never going to get better that that's way. That's not a solution. Anyway, um, I would say that it sounds like a major crash with what may end up being a serious injury. Even if it's not a serious injury, the case has some value. So I would 100% encourage you to talk to a lawyer about it, um, you know, and, and don't listen to this idiot at the insurance company. I talk to these dummies all the time and they're, they're constantly like, oh, well, we, we don't feel we're at fault for the crash. I'm like, are you out of your mind? Um, I'm sorry. What? We're not going to consider any of the therapy bills because we don't think therapy was necessary. And they haven't talked to a doctor. They're just literally reaching up into the air and pulling down. Or up inside. Well, somewhere I, else. Somewhere. Scott's like, oh, Amelia, Amelia, you just censor this. Oh, Amelia. You get so rowdy. <laughs> I do. With the filth. I'm proud Listen, of you. I'm just, uh, I just, I want to make this a hoot nanny. And it. Hot dog. <laughs> I think Gets Amelia <laughs> is still a little sick, and I think she's all hopped up on NyQuil. Codeine. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 Yep. Poor Amelia. She's sick again. You know, it builds character. <sighs> I gotta get you some vitamin C, girl. What's that? 
Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for listening, folks. I hope the info helped you and catch us next time. Thanks for listening. Till then. Thanks for listening. I truly hope that the information in the podcast helps you no matter the situation you find yourself in. But you might need more answers or some more direct help. So there are three ways for you easily to find out more and to get help. If you call my toll-free 24-hour helpline, 888-HURT-318, you'll have a couple of options. 888-HURT-318 is my toll-free 24-hour telephone line. You can call that number and speak with my team night or day. First, you can call 888-HURT-318 and you can speak to me for a free consultation about your case or situation. That's always free and no obligation. Second, you can tell the operator that you'd like a free copy of my injury DVD and book. I created the DVD and book and I give it away for free to injured people who need answers but who might not be ready to talk to a lawyer yet. Same deal, 100% free, 100% no obligation. Third and finally, you can check out my YouTube channel for informative videos about the injury case and claims process, or check out my other podcasts for more information and interesting interviews with people who know different things about various aspects of the law. I've put all of this together to help you and to answer your questions. Now, you can also help me, and I hope that you will. If you enjoyed the podcast and if it helped you at all, please subscribe. And if you can, take a minute and please post a positive review of the show. If you're listening to the podcast on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you know anyone who might enjoy the podcast, please spread the word and share it on Facebook. It's my mission to spread good information to as many people as possible. And your liking and reviewing and subscribing to the podcast helps me get the word out. Thanks again. This podcast is for informational and entertainment purposes only. It doesn't substitute for consulting with a lawyer. If you have a case, speak with a lawyer right away.